Hey guys, this is Dan with, here with LED for RV and TRV parts, and I want to do a short video and talk about a new product we're working on, and it's this little uh, LED round chip with uh, two wires on it. And uh, what this thing is supposed to do is it's supposed to repair um, one of uh, these type of lights, which is commonly referred to as a recess light, and uh, this light is very commonly found in airstreams. Um, there's also another one. Uh, here that uh, is very similar and uh, a lot of people refer to this as a puck light because it uh, looks like a hockey puck uh, but anyway both of those two lights are absolutely uh, when it comes to the guts they're the same light see how easy that came apart so regardless to which one of those two lights uh, you have that from the outside appearance um, this uh, um, will repair this light. Um, another one that it will repair is a is a type of reading light. Now you'll see you can see the the inside there and you can see the similarity to the product that I just showed you. Now somewhere along about uh, 2010 and depending on what model make and model you're talking about with the Airstream um, uh, when they switched over to these LED lights but prior to that they had these these halogen lights. Now you you probably can see it there that um, if you wanted to upgrade those lights to LEDs, you could do it with a type of a chip. Now ours uh, has that a little pin configuration right there. It allows the um, the chip to sit parallel with the lens, so that when the light's coming down, it will uh, go straight down. Not but I just wanted to show you the difference between the halogens and the LEDs for the people who uh, find this video, so they'll know the difference. So now getting back to uh, uh, the original uh, product here is um, you can see that little brad right there in the center. Basically what you'd have to do is drill that out to get that uh, chip out of the way. Um, and uh, I've already got one for the uh, kind of done that way for the sake of time. But essentially all you have to do is kind of disconnect this little plastic thing in the back. Um, and uh, drill that rivet out of the front. Then you'll be able to fish these wires through here. Uh, now you see I just pulled it in there um, uh, and it fits pretty flush and then all you need to do is reattach that screw right there where that plastic thing is um, and you should be good to go for that down light or the puck light. Now uh, on these uh, reading lights you might find it a little bit a little more difficult to fish that wire through there. Um, it can be done. I have done it. Um, I would probably find it easier to desolder and resolder the uh, the, the chip into those two wires there, but I do a lot of soldering, so but you may not. Um, but if you do, then that's just an option uh, for you. So another idea that uh, we kind of came up with is um, that uh, you can possibly uh, buy new lights if you have some that go bad and just kind of collect two or three of them and then uh, essentially repair the two or three at a time and then you'd have some spares to change out uh, you know if, if some of them go bad it's a really good light it doesn't go bad uh, that often um, so uh, you know but occasionally it does and as time goes on it may uh, we also had a customer contact us uh, and uh, had a problem with one of their lights in inside the grab handle on the the classic Airstream uh, and so uh, anyway um, uh, we suggested they try this light, and uh, it, it had to sit in there a little bit cattywampus. Uh, it didn't fit straight flush uh, down because uh, the handle's a little bit smaller than the diameter of this thing. But anyway, it worked really well. Gave it a lot more light than the light that originally came in there from Airstream. But anyway, thank you so much for taking time to watch the video. As always, uh, comments and remarks are welcome. 